Greetings, humans. I'm Andy, and I'm Judge. And welcome back to the Windmill Full of Corpses. It drips purple. Yeah, it's like purple rain, but it's one of those very light drizzle type rain. Yes. So, uh, this is Into the Unknown, not the Disney song. And I think from the video aesthetic, what I've seen on social media and some snippets and stuff, it might be inspired from Interstellar. Well, it does look like somebody looking at what could be portals to an alternative dimension or abstract art that's going to be sold for $42 million. Because someone put some dots on a painting. Aren't those the same? No. Because the moment you're willing to pay $42 million for abstract art, you're probably in a parallel universe. One where you've lost your mind. No, I'm pretty sure that's happened in this universe. We are in the universe where people lose their mind. You can tell that because we have a following when we absolutely shouldn't. <laughs> I have no idea what this is going to be. It's not metal, but a person that we know made it. So I guess um, because you're friends with somebody that comes with obligations. <laughs> it's not obligations. We're doing it because we want to. Yes. Yes, we do. We're good people. Hypothetically. Are you ready? No. It's got the background fuzzy sound. It already feels classy. It is classic. I think the painting's about to touch him. Stranger things. Fresh tracks in the snow. Looking up for answers.
مشده بود واو Given the wow, I assume you have some interpretation of that? I mean, I don't know, the dude fell into the painting and then the stars died or something. I don't know if the stars died or the portal closed. Could be, could be, could be. She looks like she came straight out, uh, straight out of Hindu mythology. First of all, is that her? Because that is not who I know. Yes, that is her. It's so funny when you know what the actual person looks like and then you turn on the video and all of a sudden you're dealing with interstellar Galadriel. Yeah, seriously, it's like you add two arms and an elephant trunk and people called Patel are gonna start kneeling. <laughs> that's, a hor- <laughs> that's a horrible stereotype. Yeah, it's a horrible joke. I'm uh, sorry. I think the head pe- the headpiece is actually handmade and I don't know whether to be impressed or to assume if she has too much free time. <laughs> Because that is a big thing. Like there are deities in icons that don't have that big a headpiece. Uh-huh. Um this was like post rock without the rock. It was post something. It was post electro sleepy. Post electro sleepy, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's like the soundtrack to being in an astronaut suit, lost in space, having lost contact with any ship that you may have gotten there on, and now you're drifting away, but for some weird reason you're not panicking. It's like it's like being high on shrooms while out in space. I Wait, wouldn't know, I didn't do shrooms. Isn't being high on shrooms the way to be out in space without being out in space? So in that case, isn't doing shrooms out in space a bit redundant? Probably, yes. Also, I'm pretty sure if you planned on doing shrooms in space, the ISS wouldn't have you. I mean, who knows? Maybe you can smuggle shrooms in space? Yeah, But so there is one thing there's no way you can smuggle in space, and that is that astronaut's beer belly. There's no way that thing can handle the Gs. I don't think it's a beer belly. I think it's just, you know, the nature of the suit. In that case, the suit isn't nailed properly. I mean, I know it probably does its functions, but it doesn't look cool, and that's more important. Yes. We're just being trolls. We like the imagine, song. Imagine you're a person, and you dare have an artistic endeavor, and people on the internet talk about the astronaut's beer belly. Well, let, let's face it, it's not people on the internet. It's the windmill full of corpses. Yes. I mean, you should see it coming if you've seen our videos. We're the worst people on the internet. <laughs> Well, at least they are willing to admit it. Do not come to us if you, if you expect to have your craft treated with respect. <laughs> yeah, we are not familiar with respect. No. But we did like the song. Yes. It was, was nice. breezy and atmospheric and nice. And I liked it. Yeah, but was it awesome. was like symbol, symbol wood. I'm wondering if that percussion is actually organic percussion or if it all just came out of a synth. Because it kind of sounded electronic, but also sounded raw enough that you might have just, you know, made by knocking on some wood. I would I would bet that most of the sounds in this came out of a keyboard or a thing with buttons on it. In that case, it's very organic buttons. It's buttons with some grass coming out of them. What he means by that is that the digital sounds sound a lot like actual sounds, as if they're played on actual instruments. He meant it as a compliment. We need to clarify that because unlike our bullshit, our compliments don't get, go through. We're sorry. He's sorry, I'm not. Start being sorry. No. I read that here. No. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we greatly appreciate the likes and shares. And if you like more, don't forget to subscribe with bells on. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay and we'd love to see you back at the end real very soon. Of course,